In the world of gaming today, the majority of games are built where anyone can jump in for 30 minutes to an hour and feel like they've made some big accomplishments. Games now have systems in place that cater to the casual player, taking away some time constraints and overall making video games easier. Although convenient for some, a lot of these features people think ruin the games. Taking away from the challenge and in the case of an MMO, the social aspects of it that the game were built around. Within the world of Ashes of Creation, it's almost as though you are taking a trip back in time to gain some of those lost social features, not catering to the casual player as much as some other MMORPGs, hopefully bringing back a feeling that a lot of players lost. Which is why we are going through today the five casual features that Ashes of Creation will not have. But before we jump into this, we are making some really good progress, speeding right towards 20% viewer subscribed. So how about the channel, click that subscribe button, and don't be one of those 82.8% .8 of people who aren't subscribed. Or you may miss out on some Ashes of Creation goodness, because that's why you're here, isn't it? MMORPGs are built nowadays to really help players stick together. No longer do you have to spend your days dragging your friends through dungeons, helping them gear up to catch up and play with the rest of you. A lot of MMORPGs today have scaled content, meaning when you join a party and go out to do a certain objective, the player's levels in that party scale to all be the same, putting everyone at the same level. This even happens with Gear Score 2. This really takes away from the sense of accomplishment in MMORPGs as that month grind you put in to get where you're at, your friends can now just jump in as well without that grind and do the same thing you are. Luckily for those of you who used to make good money leveling your friends through dungeons, you can now get that business up and running again as Ashes of Creation will not scale group content. If you have played some of the more recent MMORPGs out there, such as Lost Ark or Elder Scrolls Online, you may notice that every day when you log in, you get some cool reward that you had to do absolutely nothing to actually earn, besides logging into your computer, claiming it, and logging out. This feature, known as login rewards, are something that seem to have come over from the mobile games market, rewarding players from just clicking start for two minutes, and although there are people out there who like this, there is also a lot of people out there who feel this leaves a bad taste in their mouth. So much so that Intrepid had a feedback thread on these systems a while back, and seemed to change up their stance rather quickly on whether or not this would be a feature. As of right now though, it seems Ashes of Creation will have no daily login rewards, but characters will receive something on their in-game birthday. The last we heard of this though, it did still seem a bit up in the air, as Intrepid was throwing around ideas something as simple as giving a player a cosmetic coin daily that they could redeem when they got so many coins to buy a cool cosmetic skin, still rewarding the players for logging in, but not taking away from gameplay that is meant to be rewarding. In the majority of video games these days, the devs are creating massive worlds that take hours to cross the entirety of the map. At least it would if they didn't add shortcuts known as fast travel to make your way through. Long gone are the days of exploration and setting out to find shortcuts throughout these unknown worlds or meeting fellow travelers on the road, as fast travel now allows for players to quickly get to their next objective, relying less on their mounts and making worlds feel less populated. Well, once again, Ashes of creation is going old school, having minimal fast travel in the game. In the massive world you are in, the lack of fast travel will help strengthen the economy of the game, allowing for trade to be a big part. Also helping to require more planning around sieges to make sure everyone can get there in time, and once again making MMORPGs feel alive as you see players going all over the world as you are out on your adventures. Think way back to when you were a child, and your parents would hold your hands, guiding you in the next direction, taking you from point A to point B. Sounds familiar, right? Because that is what the majority of video games do these days. Long ago, we lived in a world where we didn't all have two monitors and would have to alt-tab out of a game to use Google to figure out the next step in our adventure. Well, 
Get those second monitors ready because once again, Google and YouTube will be your best friends in Ashes of Creation. Ashes of Creation is taking a more subtle approach to questing somewhere between old school and today where NPCs will not have exclamations over their head or question marks. There will be subtle ways for players to acquire knowledge that there is something that needs to be done in that area instead of giant arrows pointing you at exactly where you need to go. Let's say you finally hit max level. You're ready to start gearing up for your next adventure, so you grab what you need from the market, you open up that group finder, and... Ha! Just kidding. Ashes of Creation won't have a group finder. Get ready to jump into chat, socialize with people, and find what you need from the active players in the world to get that next dungeon group going. And then you can all ride your mounts together to the entrance of that dungeon, because like I said earlier, no fast travel. Group finders are the absolute worst thing to come out of MMORPGs. Yes, they are faster and meant to be more appealing to a casual player and make it easier to get groups on dead servers, but MMOs are meant to be social, and this takes away a huge part of the social aspect. You used to have to recruit a person and then while you wait for more, interact with those people in your party, building relationships and making friends. Those days are dead for most MMOs, but Ashes of creation will hopefully be bringing them back. What are your thoughts on the lack of these casual features in Ashes of Creation? Drop a comment down below and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in that description below where you can jump in on the forums and be ready to go when the game comes out. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.